Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Valiant Hearts. Last time we left off, we conducted some underground trench warfare, or just underground warfare with the Germans and uh, we, although a German saved us because we helped him out, in the end we had to participate in that cave-in of the Germans and uh, the guy who saved us, he ended up dying and it's like, oh geez, you know. Good news is like, oh wait, Anna and her father were reunited. That's amazing. But then we get the devastating news that Carl was apparently killed when he tried escaping. And I guess that's what we're about to see right now. Actually, can I even do anything? There's actually stuff here. Um, it's like the military police. And we also have... Managing the dead. Oh, man. Okay. Is there any collectibles here? I don't think there is. Okay. We need a hide or something. I really... I want to say that Anna's wrong, but... I really don't know. Oh, she, she had his dog tag. We can... Okay, no more footsteps, so I think we're okay. I, I just want to go with the benefit of the doubt, like, maybe he just dropped his dog tag somewhere. But then again, I don't know. So, do we not have collectibles here? Okay, no. Just so, I just want to double check. Are some of the other guys dead? Can't even, I can't even do anything here, uh, regardless. I'm just go here. And there's a guy to the left, isn't there? Oh, wait. There are collectibles here! Didn't show them beforehand. Alright. Uh, okay. He doesn't see me, does he? Okay, whatever. Ah! Oh! Okay, uh... I really gotta take my time with this. I say that, although I'm just kind of, still kind of going at it. Uh, do I want to know how this works? Oh, I I might be too late. Well, let's see. Go, go, Carl, go. You need to get home to Victor and Marie. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I feel like I'm watching some type of, like, 80s movie now. Wait, wait actually, what the hell am I talking about? I guess I was talking about Rambo a little bit, but, um... Although, did, did he really escape from POW camp in any of those? I can't even think of it. I, well, there is a movie called The Great Escape. It didn't come out in, like, the 60s, though. Like, basically, like, an awesome movie, so I hear... Just, uh, these guys are... Oh! Shoot! Can you, can you guys climb, uh, climb trees? Oh, I can go up even more. Okay. What? Fast? Are you, are you going to investigate that for like, the longest time? Okay, screw it. Might as well take my... Take advantage of it. Hey, these apples look suspicious. Let's stare at it for uh, a long time. All right. I mean, seriously, uh, whatever. I'm just thankful that they're staring at those apples. Apple, an apple does sound great right about now. Okay, what do we got here? Letter seems like. Nothing on the side. Okay. Oh, that was that was that was scripted. It must have been. But it got me good though. All right. Come on. There we go. Wait a minute. Where what was the? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say like it's like the barbed wire fence right here. I guess so. What the hell's it gonna do there? Oh, really? Really? You're gonna make me do all this? 
Well, seems like I'm gonna meet you guys back. Um, that sucks. This is like the first time where a, uh, a checkpoint really didn't do much for me. All right, I meet you guys back after I uh, get out. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just automatically went down here because I think I screwed myself when I went to the right first, and then um, I went back to climb down. So come on. Hopefully that was a checkpoint. Okay, that's a saving right there. And oh, down we go. Hey, ooh, that I don't know what that what that is exactly. Uh, green light. <laughs> that the scarecrow. And oh, wait, I, I need that wine. Oh, wait, I can't really. Eh. Crap. Okay, how? Oh, shoot. How am I supposed to do this? Go, 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 go. Ugh! Alright. Red light. Green light. Now I can continue. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Uh, why not? No, no, no. Oh. Wow. Are we supposed to use this for cover? This is pretty good, actually. Oh, no! Ugh. I just want to grab that thing. There. Okay. That's scared. It's like, don't pick it up now! Yeah, I could have possibly went, but I'm not going to risk it. Just thank God we even have this at our disposal right now. Okay. Uh. How much more does he have? Oh, thank God for the sheep. Whatever you guys do, yeah, 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 why are you guys moving right now? These are some funny looking sheep. Do they have long faces like that? I thought it was like a little bit more, if you guys, if you want to say stouty, if that makes any sense. And again, I, when was the last time I saw a freaking sheep? Ooh, well, okay, I need you to not do that. <laughs> I guess we need... Okay. No, wait. <laughs> it's like the way the sheep's going faster than me. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm good. Uh-oh. Well, that was kind of close. Go, 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 go. Man, they're really looking for him. They're, they're, pull, they're pulling out all the stops here. Oh, I saw an item right there, too. Is that all? That's all. Oh, so we got Tent Canvas. Tent Canvas was a soldier's refuge. Often soldiers did not mount their tents, but rolled themselves up in them to stay dry. Extra clothing would have only slowed soldiers' movements, putting them in danger. Army Internal Correspondence A special card that soldiers were allowed to send to each other. Brothers could thus correspond with each other even if they weren't stationed together. If one or several members died, demobilization was not an option. In some cases, a whole family of men might, might have been wiped out. That's terrible. Goat Hide Soldiers wrapped themselves in whatever was available to try to stay warm in the trenches. Animal hides such as goat or sheep hides offered great protection. British Magazine The magazine, London Opinion, encouraged British civilians to enlist. The cover features a famous poster of Lord... I want to say Kitchener, but I don't think that's properly how you say it. Just because it has the word kitchen in it. <laughs> the Defense Secretary exhorting Britons to enlist with his piercing gaze that follows you everywhere. Kind of reminds me of Uncle Sam. 
Braces. The soldiers must have accessory. At the time, braces were the most popular alternative to belts, and provide support even for mud mud caked loons. Uh, the guy who left his this pair behind may have, maybe had a solid belt for support. And off I go. That might have been too. Okay, never mind. Come on, Carly. You you have to survive, man. And this thing can't be true. Oh, well, damn. Please, please survive, man. Oh. Okay, um. September 15th, 1916. The bloody Battle of the Somme still raged on. 206,000 British soldiers would lose their lives there. Freddy was commissioned to drive the newest weapon of war, a major progress in a conflict that was literally stuck in the mud. But Baron von Dorf was also counting on this battle to shine in front of his superiors. Okay, Freddy. You know what to do, buddy. And thank God. I, I, I can't take death seriously right now, at least for the main characters, seriously yet. Because, like, no, wait, there must be a misunderstanding. And thank God I was right there. Uh, oh, yeah, diary. So we got the Battle of the Somme. Oh, uh, man. Okay, and we also have the Mark I tank. <coughs> Holy crap. This thing looks intimidating. I'm thinking about this is This is technology back in the early 1900s. I mean, the stuff we got now, yeah, it's insane. Okay, gentlemen. Oh! Oh, they weren't lying when they saw I literally be driving the weapon. Oh, yes. It's nice having some fun. Oh, and I can actually point up. Don't worry, I'll help you guys. Those planes are flying pretty low. Nobody can stop Freddy. Uh-oh, never mind. The mud got me. Ah, <laughs> oh, I gotta learn to pick my, my wording here. At least the timing for it. Dropping bombs? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. It Ah I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Ugh. It sucks because I'm I'm in an angle that it's like crap, I can't back up because it goes too slow and I'm like oh so I gotta be like super leveled in order for me to shoot properly. If I'm angled some other way, then it's uh, it's not gonna work. Come on. Because if I stay like this, maybe I should wait until they come come to me. Or are they not? Didn't we have a lot? Of, didn't we have a lot more soldiers with, with us? Let's see, I'm angled. That's not gonna work. There. Man, this, uh, they weren't lying when they said they were, like, seriously, just mud everywhere. Oh, crap. Am I gonna be able, oh, nope, there goes my tank. Well, you did a good job, buddy. You did a good job. Even though you got, uh, blasted a couple times due to me, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's not driving it properly, shooting right. How about we... 
Okay, it, I was gonna go to the right a little bit more to see if there's anything I could do. That, oh, let's uh, go back up. Actually, it doesn't matter. Hmm. It did matter. Whoops. Uh, okay, so let's... Yeah, let's go the other direction. Oh, what happens if I... Oh, wait, no, there is something to the left here. Ah, uh, I probably just sacrificed myself right now. Okay. But I had to get the collectible, guys. It was just blinking. Alright, let's do that one more time. This time doing it... Okay. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. <laughs> Ooh, grenade. Ah, these had a name to it, too. These are, these are the German hand grenades, and... I forgot the name. I guess I'll do this. Take another one just in case. Oh, well, I thought I was <laughs> gonna die. I mean, that thing is heavy, so it seems like, and uh, that thing fell right on my head. Yeah, no surprise for you. Looks like someone was still operating the thing. Okay. And once again, I'll take another one just in case we need it for anything. That's weird, because I'm, I'm... Even though I'm recording this at 30 frames per second, I, uh... I'm still I'm playing a game on, on, on 60. That's what, that's what I like about the program I use, um, ZX Story. I can record it in a certain frame rate, uh, but play it at a different one. So it's pretty awesome. Now, it just seems like the game just still struggles a little. It, it's not staying at a constant 60. Uh, oh, maybe I had to run it over. Which, it kind of sucks. I mean, I guess my computer, it's, it's, it, it can handle games okay, definitely. But it's definitely not optimized uh, for games we have like now or anything new. Or it just—it's I probably have to run it like in lower settings. I guess I'm just gonna run you over. Screw whoever's in there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. And. Nice. Getting the hang of it a little bit. Maybe I can actually keep this tank. Although, it, probably not. Oh, okay. That's kind of close. Maybe there's an achievement for not... Because uh, I'm sure I'm not getting hit. Maybe, that, maybe that's a good achievement. Okay, guys, uh, the audio's a little off track here. Okay, now, now it's, now it seems to be going properly. Quick time events, yay! Kill the Baron! Kill him! Alright, that's, I'm sorry about that. Fatality. This is amazing. After too many missteps and too many battles lost, Baron Von Dorf was and moved far from the front lines. For him, a fate worse than death. January 18th, 1917. Emile, still bedridden, beseeched Anna to travel to San Miel to find his daughter and share the sad news of Carl's death. Anna set off immediately. You're almost there. Almost there, buddy. What time am I at? I don't even know. 21 minutes. Is there... Okay, I'm gonna continue on, because I feel like I'm close here. Winter. So, 
Yeah, winter sucks, especially for this stuff. 39 kilometers, I'm... Oh, I don't have time for this. Those are the same buttholes took me away in the very beginning of the game. Diary. Oh, we all have diaries. Okay. What happened to that? What happened in that POW camp? Why did they shoot Carl? I hate this godforsaken war. How can I tell Marie that Victor will never see his daddy again? I couldn't do it. I had his life in my hands. I couldn't do it. Killing him wouldn't have brought you back, and you wouldn't have wanted to see me kill. He wasn't worth it. Nothing's holding me back here now. If I survive this damn war, I'll be heading home. Emil's morals slumps by the day. He hasn't had a, had any news from Marie or Victor for months. It's probably because Saint Mihailo has been has been cut off from the world. I fear the worst. I'm gonna go visit them. Surely the little nurse through the lines. I've been trudging through the countryside for four months now. I'm so hungry, but I can't approach villages. I did try, but they recognized my accent. I nearly got myself arrested. I must be careful. Still no news from Carl or Daddy. It's been four months today. What has happened to them? I must I must stop worrying. Maybe it's simply that letters aren't getting through. I dared imagine the worst. Victor needs his father and so do I. I'm I'm I probably should end the episode here, but I'm just I'm a little No, hey, come on, no. A little girl crying, bastard. Stupid. Bad. Never mind, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, you know, wait, what, what time I am? No, I'm at, I'm at 23 minutes. Shoot, if I... I'm just afraid if I continue on, it's going to be a very long episode. Oh, screw it. We already read the diaries. No, oh, we'll save you somehow. Maybe there's something to the right. Okay, let's just leave. We will save that kid. At least I hope so. We're not just gonna leave her, are we? Go in here. Okay, it's okay. We'll be the, uh... We'll be the good Samaritans here. Uh. Yeah, look, they're playing fetch. Why am I even going here? They're, I'm, I'm, well, actually, I'm gonna see if there's anything extra. Did I pick something up? Did I just pick up the stick? Yes, I did. And there's nothing else here. Okay. Well, thank God those wolves are gonna come back and eat, uh, eat me alive. I hope she doesn't say, oh man, who's German saving me? It's like, no, 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 shh. <laughs> Job well done, boys. Job well done. Oh. How do you even find out? Oh man, they're, they, they're looking. I'm gonna get out of here. Ooh, looks like I might have a uniform. See? Now! I'm gonna take a nap, apparently. No, don't put on the, that. Alright. Okay, okay. Actually, uh, the, let's, uh, I'm still gonna hide just in case. I think that was the reason why he even gave us that little portion there to hide. I mean, even with, like, because this is like a nightgown type of attire. Not very good in the dead of winter. Exhausted. Starving. Carl realized he'd never reach Sunyel. His strength fading. Destiny still... Had one more surprise in store. They were only about 20 miles from San Miel when their hopes were again dashed.
Does nothing freaking work in this game. Nothing. <laughs> I know you need a freaking tire. You know what? Let's save it for the next episode. Oh, man. Okay. Um. I swear. Oh, happy news. Bad news. Happy news. Bad news. Worse news. Happy news. Uh. Right now, I'm really afraid for Emil. Because he just simply believes that Carl's dead. And he's grief-stricken. Oh, no. Well, I just hope everything will be okay. So, as usual, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Valiant Hearts. See you guys later.